up, man? Yo, what do you have there? <laughs> I got another Sony A6000 camera. But why? You already have one. Well, well, first of all, it's discontinued. I really love this camera and I thought, you know, future-proof, I just got another one in case something happens with it. So, here it is. Oh, okay. Would you recommend it for beginners as a first camera? Honestly, I think this is the best camera the money can buy for the beginners. And let me show you why. saying it's good for beginners but how can somebody get it if it's discontinued that's true it's discontinued but first of all there are a couple of stores that still sell them and my best bet would be to just search for secondhand online um, you know because they're not that used and there are very many cameras still out there so check out the secondhand okay cool cool but there probably are some drawbacks right there are a couple. I mean, first of all, this camera is pretty cheaply built. You know, it's not weather sealed. So if you go out shooting in the rain, it's not going to be perfect. It doesn't have in-body image stabilization. And if you're going to shoot at night, it's not going to be perfect, especially if you want to get the ISO quite high, you're going to see some noise. But listen, you know, if you're a beginner and if you're just starting out and you're learning all the things, this camera is going to be perfect for you to just start out and, and, and learn all of those things like the settings and how the light works and you know all of the little details and i've made a lot of videos you can check on my channel especially about a6000 if you want to get started definitely can get away with all of those drawbacks and start using the camera especially for photos okay cool cool but what about videos everyone wants to shoot videos true and you're right i mean this one shoots only 1080p so that's like full hd as we know, the world is moving towards the, you know, 4K and everything and mad quality. It's right. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but hey, again, this is amazing for beginners to just start learning how to use the camera. And, you know, just posted a video about the cinematic footage. You can actually get pretty decent one. Um, if you pair it with some nice prime lenses and some really high quality lenses, if you have just your, you know, regular kit lens, soon enough, you can throw it out and get something more decent because that's that's what's going to make the biggest difference and and you know there's a lot of content online also for the vertical content you know these tiktok um, videos and instagram reels and everything and everything is filmed vertically and as you know they are 1080p as well so you don't really um, necessarily need to use the 4k video so for you to start and practice and do all of these things just to get around around the video as a starter it's going to be perfect when you evolve, you definitely will have to, you know, get something better. If you just want to focus on um, videos and you have a little bit of, for example, um, budget, I would definitely recommend you getting something like Sony ZV-10 because I think that's really perfect for, for video makers. Um, but if you're totally on a budget and just trying out and seeing if you will like it or not, this thing is definitely going to be pretty cool for you. Okay, cool, but you know, the camera is getting pretty old. How do you think? People should kind of invest in it or maybe get something better? Honestly, I'm telling you, doesn't matter that it's getting really old and, you know, being used for, for many, many years around the market. Just check out my other videos and you will see the capabilities of this camera and then you will be able to decide for yourself. But in conclusion, I would say, as a beginner, I think really is a perfect beginner's camera and it doesn't cost a lot. So, you know, you don't risk a lot with your budget. You just invest a little bit. And, you know, if you don't like it and if you don't pursue the, the hobby of photography or videography, you can just sell it because they're really still popular camera and you cannot go wrong with it. So 
guys, just, just go for it, just go for it.